uh, but it's an honor to be here with you. Uh, I want to, of course, uh, not that he needs any introduction, but the Shadow Minister of Finance in the Conservative Caucus, uh, Jajraj Halan, is uh, he's uh, preparing uh, this week, of course, for the forthcoming fall economic update, and I wanted him to be here so that he could add his thoughts to the Conservative economic agenda. As you know, uh, the economy is a disaster. We have 40-year highs in inflation. Interest rates are rising faster than any time in the last three decades. 1.5 million people visited Canada's food banks in one month. We have 35-year-olds living in their parents' basements because, according to RBC, it takes a greater share of the average Canadian's paycheck to make monthly payments on the average home than at any time in recorded history. Um, and there is great fear that all of the debt accumulated under the Trudeau government in households, businesses, and uh, governments may now be a crisis as rates rise and the cost of servicing that debt goes up. This is Justin Trudeau's economy. This is seven years of Justin Trudeau. He has given us the highest inflation in 40 years, the fastest ri rise in interest rates, uh, young people who can't find a place to, to live. He has given us record food bank use. He has forced single mothers to put water in their children's milk because they cannot afford their groceries. That is Justin Trudeau's record. Um, How has he done this? Well, the cost of government is driving up the cost of living. A half a trillion dollars of inflationary deficits funded by money printing means more dollars chasing fewer goods, which bids up prices. Inflationary taxes, like the carbon tax, increases the cost for businesses and workers to make the goods we buy. The more liberals spend, the more things cost. It is just in inflation. And, and they continue. Uh, we see more and more spending and a plan by the Trudeau government with the support of his coalition partner in the NDP to triple, triple, triple the carbon tax at a time when, how, when he, home heating bills are expected to go up 100% this coming winter. It is no, this is no time to triple the carbon tax. The Conservatives have been fighting tooth and nail against these tax and spending increases. Today I wrote uh, the Minister of Finance and told her that our opposition uh, Conservatives have a very simple demand for the fall economic, uh, fall economic update. Stop. Stop the inflationary deficits. Stop the tax increases. Canadians cannot afford to pay any more. Instead of creating more cash, we need to create more of what cash buys. Build more homes, grow more food, and produce more Canadian energy. That means putting pressure on local government gatekeepers at city halls across the country to speed up and lower the cost of building permits. Right now, we have the fewest homes per capita of any country in the G7. Why? Because it takes six, seven years to get building permits, and so no one can get anything built. We should be the fastest place in the OECD to get a building permit, and I'm going to sell off the 15% of the 37,000 federal buildings to convert it into housing so we have more youth uh, homes for our youth. We need to get out of the way of our energy sector by removing the anti-energy laws so that our oil and gas uh, and resource sector can produce more energy here at home, and that will make it more affordable for our consumers and more paychecks for our people. And finally, we need to remove the taxes, the tariffs, and the excessive red tape off our farmers so that they can produce more affordable Canadian-made food. I find it interesting that Trudeau says that Russia's invasion of Ukraine is the reason we have inflation. Well, first of all, we, get, we, we have less than 0.3% of Canada's trade is with Russia and Ukraine. We don't need Russia and Ukraine for anything. In fact, the things they produce, food and energy, are things we have right here. So if we're dependent on Russia and Ukraine for food and energy, what's wrong with this country? We have, this, we have the, the second biggest supply of, en of oil on planet Earth. We have 1,300 1, trillion cubic feet of natural gas. We have the sixth most farmland per capita in the world. Why aren't we growing our own food and producing our, more, our own energy? And the reason is because the government is standing in the way with rules, taxes, and tariffs that are making it too expensive to do that. So get the government out of the way, remove the gatekeepers, so that we can build more homes, grow more food, produce more Canadian energy. And none of this matters if we do not have safe streets. 
Our streets are increasingly ruled by gangsters and gun smugglers who are destroying our neighborhoods in all the big cities of the country. The shootings in Toronto, Vancouver, uh, Montreal, the tent cities that have overtaken uh, our, our streets since Justin Trudeau became Prime Minister. Um, he has made it easy for people to get dangerous drugs. He's even funded some of these drugs. And he's lowered the penalties for the violent criminals who bring the drugs and, and the crime to our neighborhoods. We all believe that a young person who makes a mistake in their youth should have a chance to get rehabilitated and start over again. But when we see offenders who've committed 40, 50, 60 offenses, convicted again and again and again, released back into the, to the neighborhoods to kill our people, uh, then, then we are th and that is a threat to public safety. We saw it in Saskatchewan where they, the mass stabbing rampage, the killers had already been convicted almost 50 times. Why were they on the street? Uh, Justin Trudeau's weak laws have allowed repeat prolific violent offenders back on the, on the streets. Instead of uh, going after law-abiding, licensed, vetted, and trained firearms owners, by the, the Prime Minister should put the money into securing our border to stop the inflow of illegal guns that Toronto police say are responsible for 80% of the gun crime, seal the border, put the criminals in jail, and, and invest in early intervention in our youth to help them avoid a life of gang and guns. That is the solution. Right now, we have a 32% increase in gun crime uh, and violence under Justin Trudeau. His policies have failed. It's time for a new approach. We need a change. I'm running for Prime Minister to put you back in charge of your life and make Canada the freest nation on earth. 